Karibu watazamaji wetu kutoka hapa Christian Bible Church, Tumaini Television mjini Nakuru, kaunti yetu Nakuru katika nchi ya Kenya. Katika kikipindi cha njoo tusemezane. Unajua ni vizuri kusemezana hasa ukweli wa neno. Sio maneno mengi na maneno mengine hapana. Tunataka tuzumuze yale maneno yanaweza kutufaidisha kama kanisa la Bwana Yesu. Sio kama dhebu moja ama mbili. Maana kila mtu anaamini vile anaamini. Na hatuwezi kuzuia hiyo, lakini imani yetu ni moja kwa kazi ya msalaba na kwa Kristo Yesu ila alitufanyia. Leo tunataka tuanze hii I, kipindi hiki kwa njia nyingine tofauti. Tunataka tuchukue mfano mzuri wa kanisa moja katika gano jipya. Lile mtume Paulo alianzisha na baadaye nimesoma na nikaelewa ili kanisa lina ile tunasema ingredients. Ina mambo mazuri sana tukiyaiga itatusaidia pia kudhibitisha na kupeana mwelekeo kwa makanisa yetu kwa njia inayofaa. Na ndio sababu leo ningependa tuanze hii program na naamini kwamba tutabarikiwa pamoja. Tuko pamoja na mwenzangu, my son in the Lord, nataka wasalimie na baadaye tuanze hii program. Karibu sana. Amen. Nina wasalimie katika jina la Yesu, ninaitwa Apostle Paul kutoka kanisa la Turning Point Church and I'm very honored to meet my dad again on this platform. Otherwise, welcome again, Thank and you, I believe we are going to enjoy together Amen. what we are going to share with the viewers. Amen. We are talking about a church with a model, mm. a church with a direction, a church which if you follow the model and the way they were doing things, it was the pattern God wanted them to have through the servant of God. Remember, Paul was the one who started this church of Thessalonians. And I believe as we are going to share together, it's going to bring us to a place where we will broaden our vision and our, 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 our desire to be like this church because this is the church after God's heart. Mm. I would like to say this. All the basic ingredients that our Lord wants in a church were found in this church of Thessalonians congregation. This was a congregation with a difference. This was a congregation based on the word of God. And the other thing we'll discover in this uh, book of Thessalonians, that this is a pattern of the church that Christ is building. Remember, Jesus is building his church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Amen. So we must use the pattern of the Bible, the pattern Jesus has given us. Mm -hmm. And that's why when God wanted Moses to build a tabernacle for the Ark of the Covenant, he showed him what is in heaven so that he may build according to the specifications and the way it is in heaven. So as it is in heaven, it should be so on earth. And that's why Jesus prayed and said, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Mm -hmm. When God wanted to destroy the days of Noah, the Bible says so easily, God told Noah how to build the Ark, the material, the specification, the measurement, and that's what Noah did exactly. Mm -hmm. And that is why that ark survived the storm and the floods. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if it was made in other, in, with other materials, all the things God didn't want them to be made, mm -hmm. it will have sunk mm -hmm. in the flood. Correct. So the same thing, Jesus has a pattern for his church. Mm -hmm. The other thing is this, he does not tell us of goals. If we read this book of Thessalonians, as we are going to study it in details, we are not in a hurry. We want to go step to and step until we arrive the head and the purpose why God wants us to learn this book. Mm -hmm. It is not talking about the goals of the church, mm -hmm. the objectives of the church, neither does it talk about the programs or the kind of sermons they preached and the kind of songs they sang. But it tells us about the spiritual elements. Mm -hmm. And I believe mm -hmm. this is a message Paul got from Timothy. Mm. My friend can read from 1 Thessalonians 3, verse 6 to 7. And let us hear the information and the report Paul got from his son Timothy concerning this church of Thessalonians. But now when Timothy came from you unto us and brought us good tidings of your faith and charity, that he have good remembrance of us always, 
desiring greatly to see us as we also as we also to see you therefore brethren we are comforted over you in all our affliction and distress by your faith verse 8 verse 8 says for now we live if you stand fast in the lord very important mm. for now we live mm. in mm. other words we can't live if we don't do what we are taught mm. Mm. Sasa tunaishi now we live if we stand mm. firm or mm. fast mm. in the lord mm. so we see here mm. paul is uh, timothy is bringing the report to paul it says but now when timotheus came from you unto us and brought us good tidings of your faith and charity mm. remember these are our men who are grounded in faith and in charity mm. and then he says how he did, they had a good remembrance of of the apostles and also how they greatly desires to see them as we also wanted to see them mm. in other words here were people who had a relationship fellowship mm. between paul mm. timothy and the congregation of thessalonians mm. so we see here this is good news mm. that is brought to paul mm. reported to paul with the pro which prompted him mm. to write this first letter mm. to the thessalonians mm. now let us look at the basic principles in the epistles mm. we are going to start now mm. so that you may see the basic principles which made the church of thessalonians become a church with the principles of the bible mm -hmm. you can start off yeah let's begin chapter one of first thessalonians we're going to read verse one to verse five and find out something very very special mm. the bible says paul and sylvanus and timothy unto the church of thessalonians which is in god the father and in the Lord Jesus Christ, grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. For we give thanks to God always for you all, making mention of you in our prayers, remembering without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ in the sight of God and our Father. Verse 4, knowing, brethren, beloved, your election of God, Verse 5 says, For our gospel came not unto you in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Ghost, and in much assurance, as ye know what manner of men we were among you for your sake. So we realize mm -hmm. just by reading that this was a church that exemplified mm -hmm. salvation in a dimension that is very rare. That's true. As compared to our present day church. Mm -hmm. Because we have a lot of people who are in church, but you cannot tell whether they are saved or they are not. That's true. But the Church of the Salonian mm -hmm. exemplified salvation mm -hmm. in a very, very, uh, you know, challenging, uh, challenging manner because they, uh, uh, okay, let me just take you a bit uh, back for you to understand why this church is a model church because mm -hmm. um, uh, before Apostle Paul came to this, uh, this alone, and the Salonica now, their town, uh, he had come from Ephesus, and Ephesus, he had already stayed there for a period of three years. It was a long time. He even started a Bible school in the house of a man called Jason, and he was teaching. After that, he came to the Salonica. When he got there, the people of the Salonians, they were so open-hearted. Mm. The Word of God says that they opened up their heart to receive the word of God, they would peruse the scriptures the way they were taught. But unfortunately, Apostle Paul could not take long. He only stayed only three months. Mm -hmm. Just only three months lesson, sir. If you can imagine, mm, just months. teaching just three months. <laughs> yeah. Then uh, Apostle Paul was chased out of that because mm -hmm. the Jews came and created some chaos mm -hmm. and he had to leave them mm -hmm. prematurely. Right. But three months only mm -hmm. and the words that they had had was stuck to them mm -hmm. and now we see their work of faith, work we of see faith. their labor of love, mm -hmm. we see their patience of hope in the Lord Jesus Christ, we see their devotion mm -hmm. so much and that is why when Timothy is bringing good report. Mm -hmm. Apostle Paul, we really thank God mm -hmm. because we were praying for that church. It was the only church that Apostle didn't take long. Exactly. Yet right. it is the church mm -hmm. that had the highest quality of believers. Exactly. So this is just amazing. A saved church, we see it 
in the Salonica. So today we have churches um, that have been ministered by the man of God for years. Mm. And you get in there, you find people who are wicked, you find people who are immoral, mm. you find people who don't know how to pray, we, you find people who do not understand their authority in Christ, we find people who cannot even quote any scripture right. in times of crisis. Mm. But the church of the Salonica, they, they were just a very, very powerful church, and it was only established in three months. I find that to be very, very challenging. Amen. Mm. In other words, you see, Paul said he had something to remember them for. Mm -hmm. You cannot remember somebody who has done nothing. Mm. You cannot remember a church or a believer or a minister of the gospel who is idle, who is slothful, who is doing nothing, mm. who doesn't apply the word which he had heard or she has heard, mm -hmm. and put it into practice. Mm. And that's why he's saying, yeah, I remember you without ceasing, mm -hmm. your work of faith, mm -hmm. your work of faith, yes. your patience, mm -hmm. and the hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Once you realize this is the church after God's heart, and then verse five, 5 is a very powerful verse. Mm -hmm. The gospel which came to Thessalonica was yes. not a weak gospel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Bible says, our gospel came not aren't you in word that mm. means these days yes. there is no power mm. in many people's mm. words or preaching mm -hmm. here it mm. says for our gospel came not unto you in word only mm. in other words we preach the word but not only the word mm. 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 true it is this is very practical no wonder jesus said mm. the words i speak unto you they are both life and mm. spirit yes yeah so here paul is saying i did not come to preach to you only the word Mm. but also in mm. the power mm. and in the Holy Ghost. Mm. Of course, with much assurance. Mm. This is very strong. Now, it can is. you it tell is. the viewers it is. about it this is. much assurance? It's actually very challenging mm. when you, you, you just look at the things that Apostle is uh, outlining. Mm. He first of all says, not in word only. Exactly. That means any man of God that is sticking to the word only, mm -hmm. you are giving substandard material exactly. to, to God's people. Exactly. You must go on to the other dimension yes. where that word mm -hmm. is accompanied by power. power. Uh, and, and why this is important is mm -hmm. because right now our country is already infested with a lot of witchcraft. That's true. We are seeing it in the media. Mm -hmm. We are seeing people going to the witches. They want their businesses to prosper. Mm -hmm. We are seeing uh, families who are dependent on protection through charms and so forth. Mm -hmm. And I think, sir, the men of God we are to blame yeah, that's because true. we have not been manifesting God's power oh, right. in the house of God. Mm -hmm. And you know, inside everybody, there is that hunger for the supernatural. Right. And as men of God, we must not only uh, stay with the word, we must go for power. This reminds me mm -hmm. about this time where Moses was called by God to go for prayer for 40 days. Mm -hmm. And then he left Aaron mm -hmm. to take charge. Mm -hmm. And within no time, the people realized that Aaron does not have power. <laughs> yeah. So they told him to make a golden cup. Yeah, yeah, that's and, and he went ahead. Mm -hmm. So we are causing people to turn to idols mm -hmm. and ancestral worship right. because we have not showcased the power. So Apostle Paul says, mm -hmm. we came with the word, mm -hmm. there was also tangible uh, power, uh, mm -hmm. and then there was the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. and then he said, in much, much assurance. assurance. It was yeah. no joke. We yeah. were so convicted yeah, as right. we were ministering and to that's, you. That, that's very true. <laughs> yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And you see Acts chapter 1 verse 8 says, mm -hmm. you shall receive power, power yes. after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Exactly. Not that they don't have the word of God, mm -hmm. they had the word of God, mm -hmm. but minus the Holy Spirit and power, mm -hmm you cannot be effective in the ministry. Mm. And that's our churches. We need these things. Mm. We should balance our ministries. Mm. We should balance our church services, mm. not only the power. Mm. Some people call themselves man of the word, mm. church of the word, mm -hmm. but minus power, <laughs> yeah. that's not the church of Jesus Christ. It won't work. And that's why it's very important for us to see even Jesus was the word. Exactly. But later he was baptized into the Holy, Holy Spirit. Ghost. And then he was anointed. Mm. Then he demonstrated the power mm. as he preached the word. Mm. The Bible says very clearly, mm. the presence of God was there mm -hmm. to heal them. Amen. So why don't we see this assurance, as yeah. Paul says here, yeah. much assurance? Yeah, I, I think what is lacking uh, among the church and most men of God, mm -hmm. we are unwilling, mm -hmm. uh, number one, to pay the price required. To pay the price. To, to carry 
power. Exactly. Because power is mm. not free. You mm. cannot give power to mm. a careless person That's because true. he will kill and destroy people. That's true. So we are, we are failing. And then we are lacking what I would call mm. requisite character mm -hmm. to bear that power. To bear that power. You see? So we lack character. We are not willing to pay the price. Mm. But Jesus told the, the, the disciples, tarry ye in mm. Jerusalem mm. until he be endured with Power. He was saying that, okay, I've taught you the principles mm -hmm. for three and a half years. Exactly. But those principles won't work won't without, work. Power. without power. So he told them, wait for power. I think mm -hmm. actually for the most part of several years ago, mm -hmm. I have really focused on power. On power. Because I discovered that mm -hmm. when you have power, mm -hmm. you help more of God's people. Exactly. Because like, right now people have very complex issues. Mm -hmm. Very complex issues. Mm -hmm. The only way to yeah. help them. Mm. is to have power and not mm. the power of Ugali, no. the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm. So this assurance will only be there if we have power to validate our ministries. Exactly. This power has to be the power of the Holy Spirit, not any other power, mm. so that the, the people can be assured that they are safe, they are on the right path. So Apostle Paul was saying, we did this with, with much assurance mm. because the Holy Ghost was with us, the power was there, and the word we preached was confirmed with the power of God. No wonder Paul, when he came to the Corinthians, said, I did not come to you with the enticing mm, of words, words of, of wisdom. wisdom. Exactly. exactly. But with the demonstration uh -huh. of the power of God. Exactly. So that your faith may not stand mm. in the wisdom of men, mm. but in the power of God. That's true. That's what the Thessalonians experienced. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's what our church should experience. I, 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 and I think probably <laughs> Daddy was mm -hmm. one of the foremost people in this nation yes. who has operated mm -hmm. the miraculous, the right. supernatural. Exactly. Probably uh, you should uh, coach us, the young men of God. Mm -hmm. What did you people do to manifest that dimension of power the raw power, I call it yeah. the raw power, yeah, that's because true. it was unadulterated, yeah, exactly. no, gimmicks. no gimmicks, it was just pure mm. power of God, that's healing, true. rescuing, the word of knowledge, yeah, exactly. the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Yes. But today you just mm. find it like uh, people are just joking around and guessing no, around. No, the problem, son, is this so simple. Mm. As you say, they mm. don't want to pay the price. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not just standing up and taking your Bible yes. and saying, I'm going to preach. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, the Bible says, mm -hmm. it has to be alive in your spirit. Okay. And the Holy Ghost within you has to quicken you mm -hmm. and learn from within. Mm -hmm. Because the Spirit of God was sent to help us. Mm -hmm. To help us to do what? Mm -hmm. To guide us into all truth. Mm -hmm. To show us the things to come. Mm -hmm. What he hears from God, he will show us. Mm -hmm. And then he's the one who gives us the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. As he wills, of course. Amen. But we must be willing vessels. Mm -hmm. And I think if you want to know a good answer, yes. it is in Romans 12. Okay. As we just hold on to mm -hmm. Thessalonians. Yes. Verse, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, mm -hmm. by the mercies of God, mm -hmm. that you present your bodies mm -hmm. as a living sacrifice, yes. holy mm -hmm. and acceptable unto God, mm -hmm. which is your reasonable service. service. Okay. Now, this is the secret. Okay. Many gospel ministers, mm. they don't want to pay the price. All right. They don't want. You see, here it says, mm. you offer yourself yes. as a living sacrifice, sacrifice. holy. And accept and accept them to God, which mm. is your reasonable service. Yes, you know our services cannot be reasonable mm. minus us not offering our bodies as a living sacrifice. Mm. In other words, allow the Holy Ghost to come in mm. and to guide you, and then feed yourself the Word. Wow. Because uh, many ministers don't feed themselves the word. Amen. They just read books. Amen. And they just read. But wow. feeding yes, sir. is the problem here. I get it. And also we don't feed our congregation the word. Yes. We just preach, 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 preach. Preaching is not feeding. Wow. I, I think I'm getting a very powerful statement is coming up in my heart mm -hmm. whereby uh, we have become so preoccupied mm -hmm. with the work of God right. at the expense of our personal relationship with, with God. God. Right. Because if we relate with God the way you are putting it, we have mm. presented our bodies as yeah. living sacrifice. Right. It would be easy mm -hmm. for the Holy Ghost to release his giftings yeah. and his power. Mm -hmm. And if that power begins to show in our churches, mm. then uh, we're going to save our nation. And we said from the beginning, the mm. Church of Thessalonica mm -hmm. does not speak about their goals, mm -hmm. their objectives, yes. or their programs, mm. or what we call sermons mm -hmm. and the songs yes 
But these days, mm. without this, they will say we have no church. <laughs> <laughs> without programs, they say yeah. that's not a church. Yes, without yes. goals, objectives, visions, mm. what is your vision? Uh -huh. uh, what songs do you sing in your church? Uh -huh. That has nothing to do with the Thessalonians church. Mm -hmm. See the beginning, mm -hmm. it was a saved church. It's true. You cannot bring up somebody to the climax uh -huh. without laying a good foundation. Absolutely. Some of us go so high and yet the foundation is very it's shaky. Very shallow. No wonder when things happen, <laughs> we go down go and those down. are the things we are talking about this model mm. of mm. the church of Thessalonica exactly and we have agreed and mm. we 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 believe this is the way we should go mm. our work of faith should be seen mm. and also our patience mm -hmm. of hope in Christ should be seen mm -hmm. and also we should also stand very firm mm. on the gospel of power amen because the gospel is the power of god yes somebody asked me where is mm. the power of god mm. i told him the power is in the gospel yes then yes. of course he didn't understand mm. why i say the gospel of course it's in the bible mm -hmm. where paul said mm. i am not ashamed of the gospel of christ mm -hmm. for it is the power of, the god, power of god unto salvation unto them that so believe. i i told him look mm. if you want power preach mm. the gospel mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. You are very Preach the right. gospel. You're very right. Not, not manipulating people. Mm. Not trying to tell them God has said and yet God has not said. Mm -hmm. You preach the gospel. Yes, sir. I usually say mm. the gospel will defend itself. It's true. Uh, I, I think uh, the challenge that a lot of people have, mm. they are approaching the gospel using a lot of logic. A lot of logic, yeah. Uh, we, right. we are yet to to receive the word with that honesty and that surrenderness that we yeah, see exactly in this, church. in this church because this church of Thessalonica in verse 6 for example you see yes. and ye became followers of us uh -huh. and of the lord and of the lord having received the word uh -huh. in much affliction with the joy of the holy spirit uh -huh. our receptivity uh -huh is one thing yeah, that's uh, uh, so we mm. cannot see the power mm. uh, in the word mm. because even in the uh, old testament you see like um, psalms 107 verse 20 says he sent his word yes and healed yeah, them and healed of them. their diseases and delivered them from their destruction that's very true. the word was sent yes. and inside the word yes healing was there the deliverance, deliverance was there, was there. Mm. so i think we need to change and format our our mindset as far as the word of god and then we stop taking the word of god as a novel yeah, that's true. and begin to notice that this is the living, living word. word of god Power. as you started by saying mm. that the flesh profiteth nothing mm. The words I speak to you, they mm. are life and, spirit. and they are spirit. Mm. We begin to understand there is something we need to understand about the word yeah. so that we can become conduits to release this power right. to heal people's marriages, businesses, right. careers, and their visions. So, uh, so for me, I really uh, urge all men of God mm. to really change their mindset when it comes to the word of God mm. and surrender fully to God so as to have the power of the Holy Spirit or operate through us. That is very important. Verse 6 is very important as mm. you read it. Mm. Uh, you have reminded me something here. Mm -hmm. Paul said, you became followers mm. of us. Mm -hmm. Now, how many followers do you have in your church? Oh, my goodness. How many followers do I have in my <laughs> church? Really followers. <laughs> here, Paul is saying, you became followers of us. Yes, yes, yes. And of the Lord. <laughs> That's why Paul told the Corinthians, follow me as I follow Christ. Exactly. How many followers, surely? I'm mm. not talking about members here. Yes, yes. You following. can be a member of any church. Yes. But a really follower of mm. the ministry, mm -hmm. follower of a man of God, mm. follower of the teachings of Christ mm -hmm. in that church. Mm. Very few. It's very, and that's very why true. we are saying we are not making members, we are making followers, mm -hmm. followers who follow us as we follow mm. Christ. Christ. So here is a very strong statement. Very strong. Very strong. You, you man of God and woman of God, wherever you are, wherever you are, God bless you. Mm. But look at your church. Mm. How many followers do you have? You'll be surprised to realize <laughs> if, for example, you are in a church of 500, yeah. you're only followed by less than 10. It's very true. Because we are in a generation that yeah. is not ready to follow regulations, uh -huh. a generation that does not love order, mm -hmm. and they do not believe in loyalty. Uh -huh. You know, yeah, they true. do not believe in hierarchy and uh -huh. ranks. Exactly. So you, you, you say that, look, God has told me that this church christian revival church mm. this is the direction yes but then you have thousands of people mm. who are not following you not actually following you. you have so many who are fighting you instead that's true you have people who are just 
uh, lazing, if I can use <laughs> yeah, that yeah. word, just <laughs> lazing around because yeah. they are not supporting the vision, yeah, exactly. they are not following the word, yeah, they are not yeah. following your faith. Yeah, that's true. Because, uh, uh, because you know it is amazing, sir, mm. when you hear uh, uh, somebody like Elisha, mm, who is yes. a very good example of yes. following, uh, following yeah. because he followed Elijah mm. so much, yes. and I was surprised when I realized what he wanted from Elijah. I'm telling you. Because what, when he was asked by Elijah, mm -hmm. now that you have followed this far, what do you want? Mm -hmm. He said, I want double portion, portion of your spirit. I'm telling you. Not the Holy Spirit. Of the of spirit, spirit of the man of God. Of the man which of God. means mm -hmm. if we are following you yes. as our father, mm -hmm. we are following you as our leader. Yes. The spirit that is in you. That's true is supposed to begin rubbing on us so much mm. that you cannot differentiate mm. Bishop Dr. Marita right. and Apostle Paul That's true. because I have a portion a of portion. your spirit. That's true. Now, how many members mm. will willingly look for my spirit? Mm -hmm. Many of them, they want the Holy Spirit. And of course, Elijah told him, <laughs> you, have for, you have asked for a hard thing. Exactly. But because you have come the hard way, if you see me. and you have served <laughs> me the hard way, my goodness. if you see me go, mm -hmm. You'll get your request. Followership. I'm telling you, he got it. He got it for following. Exactly. And he followed uh, for 21 years. For 21 years. Uh, now we have Faithful. members, they just follow you one year and say there is nothing happening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then they come to me, yeah. they stay yeah. six and months. Again they so go. these people, they never grow. Yeah. So when the Church of the Salonian yes. is being commended for following, mm. I think if there is something that we need to edit in Kenya, mm. is the standard of followership because yes. we have people who subscribe to denominations yeah. and churches, yes. but in in actual fact, mm -hmm. they are treating those churches as social organizations yeah, social like and clubs. not churches. Mm -hmm. And therefore, it is a challenge for us to subscribe to followership, begin to follow. If you, the man of God over your life mm -hmm. is a man of faith, let us see in your life that you are radiating the same faith. Can you see the second part there? Mm -hmm. uh, after followers, there is something very st strong there. Yeah, you, yes, yes, it says, and you become followers of us. And of the Lord, mm -hmm. having received the word in much affliction with the joy of the Holy Ghost. You know, when I read like this one, mm -hmm. this is the problem with many mm. members. No, let's mm. not say followers. Mm. Followers are very good people. Yes. They, they are teachable. Yes. And they are reachable. Mm -hmm. But these guys receive the word with much affliction mm -hmm. and with joy mm. of the Holy Ghost. Mm. With such a follower, mm -hmm. you cannot miss Mm. to get men and women you can mentor mm -hmm. and also to guide mm. in this in this church absolutely mm. absolutely and actually when you talk about they receive the word the, in much affliction exactly. this means they were able to stand mm. even during crisis exactly but right now we have people um, when there are crises in the ministry, yeah, you're not you that. are on your own <laughs> and your wife and your children. They are not ready, <laughs> are not ready to stand to with you during with crisis. Mm. I mean, they want to identify with you when everything is it's, okay. Uh, exactly. But uh, when there is warfare, there is battle, <laughs> there yeah. are projects, yeah, they, they, will, they will leave their spirit yes. with you. They will tell you, we are together in the spirit. In the spirit. Uh, so once you are through the crisis, <laughs> they, 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 they come. come back. It's unfortunate. No wonder Jesus said, if you suffer with me, you shall <laughs> Exactly. It's so exactly. simple, you know. Mm. You mm. cannot reign with somebody you have not suffered with. Exactly. And this is very true. That's why Jesus is giving us this condition. Mm. If you want to follow me, mm -hmm. to be my disciple, mm -hmm. deny yourself, exactly. take up your cross, mm. and follow me. In mm. other words, now do my will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and that's a good follower. Mm. And I believe son, that's what we want to teach and guide these people out there yes. to realize that if it's not your church, it's not my church. Exactly. This church belongs to Jesus Christ. Mm. We're custodians and we are here to mm. safeguard mm. the teachings of Christ. Mm -hmm. We'll go for break and then yes, we'll sir. continue at the second part. All right. Otherwise, I believe and hope that you are enjoying Amen. this conversation through the church of Thessalonica. Mm -hmm. And we are learning a pattern mm -hmm. and a model which we should follow to be able to fulfill our calls. Absolutely. Asante sana.
sababu Yesu alisema jambo lolote mnaomba baba baba atawapa kwa jina langu ili furaha yenu ipate kutimia and i want to assure you today god wants to fulfill your joy by answering every prayer you pray in the name of jesus Tujue maandiko tuokoke. Tujue maandiko tubarikiwe. Tujue maandiko tupate nguvu. Hapa maandiko yanasema tukimtazama Yesu alianzisha imani yetu atamaliza. Imani ni upanga. And I declare the peace of God that passeth all understanding to keep your heart and in your and your mind in Christ Jesus. Praise I give unto you not as the world giver says Jesus. My praise I live with you. May the peace of God control your life from today. May you see the light ahead of you. May the voice of God lead you from today. Let it be loud and clear. And may the vision speak louder from today. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. God loves you and here Christian Revival Church we love you so much. Amen. So be part of us, be part of this service. Welcome, brothers and sisters. We are still here talking about the model of the church of Thessalonica. We have agreed from the scriptures this was a saved church, genuinely saved, mm -hmm. not genuinely indoctrinated. Mm -hmm. They were genuinely saved, born again. Mm -hmm. Now, the second part is this. Mm -hmm. This was also a, sur a surrendered and suffering church, mm -hmm. as we read in verse 6, mm -hmm. I will read it became, he, and he became followers of us. That is a surrendered church mm -hmm. and of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Of course, after I've received the word in much affliction, mm -hmm. with joy of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So we can see this is a church which was surrendered, mm -hmm. not only to God, mm -hmm. even to the servant Paul. Mm -hmm. So how surrender are you? surrendered are you to God mm. and to the ministry where you are. Mm -hmm. It is so unfortunate, it's so sad. Yes, People say they have surrendered to God, mm. to Jesus Christ, mm. but wherever they are worshipping, they are not surrendered to the men mm. and women of God in that church. Mm -hmm. You find them be pushed, being pushed to do this, mm. do this, mm. please pray, mm. please give, mm. please support the work. Mm. A pastor and apostle should not say please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If they are genuine followers mm. and they are surrendered mm. to God and to the ministry. Mm. We should not be begged to do something mm. which we know it is right before God. True. Anything we do in the church of Jesus Christ is for our own good. Mm. So why should you allow yourself to be pushed around mm. or mm, being forced to mm. do this? Mm. Even a pastor stands before you or a bishop and say, please mm. come church early, come yeah, to the yeah. church early. Mm. <laughs> Some of you get late. Uh, really those followers who are surrendered to the wow. Holy Spirit and to the man of God. Absolutely not. I think I think we have a very serious problem mm. uh, because I think people are yet to understand the mission of the church in their life. Exactly. Because if we begin to understand that I am in this church mm. and God has put you over my life right. to 
take me to my destiny right. and put me in the center of God's will, mm. I will treat you as a gift and a blessing to me. That's true. Not a burden, not, not an burden. interference. Mm. I will not take you as a comedian mm. or a, an idler or an who decided to drive using the Bible. <laughs> yeah. Because I think this is one of the mentality that mm. is ruining people. Yeah. That is why you can issue some very important instructions yes. that would save a marriage. Exactly. But somebody mm. is not even listening. It's not even because listening. God has given us the mandate mm. to not only save souls and take them to heaven, mm. but also to give them a good life here on earth. That, that's very but true. that cannot happen accidentally. Yeah. You've got to surrender yourself. Mm -hmm. You've got to be trained your faith. Mm. You've got to be trained to understand your kingdom privileges. Yeah, that's yeah, they, I mean, there are standards and protocols yes. of enjoying your life, but you cannot access them except you be surrendered. Exactly. So surrender. if submission, mm -hmm. submitting mm -hmm. to the man of God is mm -hmm. so important. That's what we see in the church of Thessalonica. That's they true. surrendered mm -hmm. and submitted to the leading of God's servant for only mm. three months. For only I three mean, months. We have members who have followed us 10 years yeah. and they are rebels. They are still <laughs> rebels. They <laughs> rebel every yeah. instruction. I'm in telling you. The direction. Yeah, they don't want to. And they want to take another room. Yeah, that's true. God have mercy. So let's go another scripture and see how it works. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we read uh, uh, Acts 17. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the beginning of this church of Thessalonica. Mm -hmm. First, uh, uh, I mean, Acts chapter 17. Mm -hmm. This is when this church was started. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's read verse 5 and verse 6. Mm -hmm. We see that, that these people, there is a quality I would like to point out. Yes. But the Jews which believed not mm -hmm. moved with envy, took unto them certain lewd followers of the baser sort, and gathered a company, and set all the city on an uproar, and assaulted the house of Jason, and sought to bring them out to the people. And when they found out, uh, and when they found them not, they drew Jason and certain brethren unto the rulers of the city, crying, "These that have turned the world upside down are come <laughs> hither." Also, yeah. <laughs> turn the world upside down. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. So, 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 so you you see this was surrendered church. They were mm -hmm. suffering. Yes, but exactly. No amount of suffering yes. would make their faith to be wavered. I'm telling. They you. continue to stand. I don't think, uh, Daddy, that mm -hmm. um, the church mm -hmm. is prepared to suffer. I'm telling you. I mean, uh, especially these days. They are not ready to suffer. Mm. We believe after you come to Christ, everything yeah. is supposed to be okay. Yes, that's uh, what they so, do. So if you give your life to Jesus and mm. then you find there are more troubles, you just ditch the Bible and mm. God yes. and say, I thought it would be over. I'm telling you. But we see these people that were written about in the Bible, they yes. also suffered. They suffered. Uh, one time somebody came to me and said, I want you to pray for me because I discovered I have no patience. Mm. And so this person wanted me to pray for the person to have patience. So I made a prayer. I said, Father, in the name of Jesus, mm. organize a series of troubles mm. and problems and trials. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and this was, you know, what are you praying? Yeah. I told him, patience does not come for free. Yeah, it doesn't you come for free. You have got to be taken through tough exact. situations. Yeah. Uh, questionables and uh, things yeah, that will make you, exactly. uh, you know, uncertain, confused, <laughs> and so yeah. forth. So mm -hmm. the church today, we are unprepared for suffering. Mm -hmm. And that is why many people are backsliding mm -hmm. because there is a challenge that has come in their workplace. Yes, yes. They have a marital challenge. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they easily forfeit the church. Yes. Maybe they come from a family background mm -hmm. where Jesus is not widely accepted. Yeah. And when these trials and temptations come, yes. people are not willing to suffer. But I would like you to know as you listen to us mm -hmm. that no matter how much faith you have, there is a portion of suffering. Jesus said that those of you who have forsaken everything for mm -hmm. the gospel sake, mm -hmm. he said several things. Number one, he said, you shall have houses, mm -hmm. lots of them. Lots of you them. shall also have lands. Mm -hmm. And you shall have also eternal life. Mm -hmm. But also the Bible says, mm -hmm. and suffering. And suffering. So we yeah. must be willing to go through difficult moments. Mm -hmm. But even during the difficult moment, yes. the word of God says, a righteous man may fall even seven times, mm -hmm. but he will rise up again. So we have the power in us to overcome the challenges of life. Yes. That is why James 1 verse 2 says, just to support what you are saying, mm -hmm. James says, my brethren, count it all joy mm -hmm. when you fall into diverse temptations. Mm -hmm. 
knowing this, that the trying of your faith mm -hmm. worketh patience. Exactly. Then what does patience do? But let patience have her perfect mm. work. Yes. And that's what that man mm. needed. Exactly. That patience is to have perfect work. Amen. And after having perfect work, mm. that she may be perfect, mm. entire, wanting nothing. Exactly. In other words, after you endure it all, mm -hmm. there is a blessing. It's true. The it's promise true. is there. Mm. The blessings are there. It's true. All you need from God is there. Mm. But you must be patient. True. Hebrews 6 12 says, mm. do not be slothful, mm. but be followers of them who through faith in, and patience, um, patience need the, the promise. promises. Yes, and that's the key. Yes, sir. We go to 1 Thessalonians and see something here mm. again. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 14. It says this, For ye, brethren, became followers of the churches of God which is in Judea and in Christ Jesus. For ye also have suffered the things of your, of your own countrymen, even as they have of the Jews, who both killed the Lord Jesus and their own prophets, and have persecuted us, and they pleased not God, and are contrary to all men. Mm. Do you see? Mm -hmm. These are the churches who suffered. Mm -hmm. And who are we as a church of Christ or as a fellowship not to suffer because of Christ? Mm -hmm. So we should not exempt suffering from the model of the church growth in our area, wherever we are. This the Thessalonian church was a suffering church. Yes. And that's why it's written like that, so that we may see it's not only you suffering. And uh, amazingly, we have not suffered the way they suffered. Actually, we, we, have are, not. we are far from rating ourselves as <laughs> suffering because you yeah. wake up at night, offer your prayers, mm. nobody is torturing you. I mean, <laughs> you carry your Bible, you can have 10 Bibles, and yeah. nobody is questioning, and nobody's questioning. Because there are places you are not allowed to read the Bible. Yeah, exactly. It's a crime. It's a, crime. a place you cannot pray, okay. you cannot gather together, sing yeah. and dance and exactly. give offerings. Exactly. So, especially in our part of the world, mm. we cannot even talk about suffering. We can only talk about trials yeah, we and temptations. And temptations <laughs> we yeah. are here to suffer. Yeah. A, 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 and this is a challenge. I think. Mm. It is good we begin to organize ourselves mm. to be able to face hard time yeah. as believers mm. and make sure that whatever uh, crisis that you go through does not adulterate your relationship with God. Right. That you can still stand even in the heat of battles. Mm. There are people who are ready to leave Christ so that they can get a job. Mm, there are people who are ready to walk out of their marriage mm. if they have a promise mm. of, a, a, of a better mm. marriage. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. they don't want to wait and mm. trust God That's to true. overcome their crisis in mm. marriage. Mm. Uh, they, they, uh, they are ready to be a second wife somewhere. I'm they are ready to do I'm very funny, funny things. things. So, so I pray that God will help us mm. to, so that our love for Christ will not be the shallow, compromisable kind of love. Mm. It becomes a genuine love that is not based on what you can get, but a genuine love for God, for he loved you before you loved him. That would be very awesome if the church can be able to do that. That means we let's prepare to suffer. Mm -hmm. Because the gospel comes also with suffering. It's true. Not only with the blessings, mm. not only with the benefits, mm. but also with suffering. Mm. And that is what qualifies you to be a child of God genuinely. Yes, Your true. faith has to be tested mm. whether you like it or not. Mm. There has to be fire coming your way mm -hmm. for you to be purified. Because mm. before we go home, mm. my friend, the church has gone through the fire. It's true. That one is not debatable. Mm. It's not uh, negotiable. Mm -hmm. We have to agree and accept mm. persecutions are there. So don't be afraid mm. when you are being persecuted because of the word. Mm. If you are being persecuted because of something else, mm -hmm. that's another thing. It's true. Another scripture. Uh, actually, John chapter 15 in verse 18 and then verse 20. Verse 18 says, if the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. Exactly. Verse 20 says, mm -hmm. remember the word that I said unto you. Mm -hmm. The servant is no greater than his Lord. Mm -hmm. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. Mm -hmm. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. Very true. So it is true that we go to, uh, to, to we should not be surprised yes. when we are hated yeah. for our faith for our or faith. when we are persecuted mm -hmm. because of our faith. Mm -hmm. It is important to, to, to organize ourselves and prepare. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot, of, uh, a lot of unnecessary things going on. Mm -hmm. We have churches that are being persecuted that mm -hmm. they are making noise. 
They are making yeah, noise. Yeah, they are making noise. We don't make noise. We don't make and noise. And a church is not a church without noise. Yeah, exactly. You, you, you see, because <laughs> there is life. Yeah, there is life. Yeah. yeah. If it's a mochari, yes. we don't expect. Yeah, we don't expect so, noise. So we, some of these persecutions and mm -hmm. sufferings, mm -hmm. we should be ready. And then uh, I was talking uh, a few, just a few hours before I came over, mm -hmm. and I was being told about a man of God who decided to close church mm -hmm. because. Um, of sufferings because of suffering he's suffering is unable to take care of his house rent is unable to mm -hmm. uh, take care of the the children's school mm -hmm. fees mm -hmm. and i'm told mm -hmm. that he has been hired to be a chief campaigner chief. and he joyfully closed the church telling, can I'm you imagine telling, I'm telling you. abomination abomination so i i, I just mm -hmm. pray that you can be able to hold on and and, pe and, and people blame eso yeah <laughs> for selling his birthright. Yes, yes. Because yes. of Linton. Yes, yes, yes. It's yeah. unfortunate. It's <laughs> unfortunate. Mm -hmm. It's my prayer. But that and also know. people blame them as. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I came to discover one of the tough tests yes. in stewardship <laughs> is the test of waiting, of waiting. for the rewards yeah, for the of, rewards service. of service. Because yeah. God has not told you it's up to October. No, he doesn't. And he doesn't. Yeah, so yeah. at times you wait uh, five years <laughs> and you give up. And you give and yet the promise is there. The promise is there. Yeah. So this is the, the suffering that we are talking about. Can mm -hmm. you still suffer and still hold on to God? I'm telling and you. Tell him uh, the way the way Job was saying mm -hmm. that even if you kill me. Yeah, uh, still, yeah, that is Job 14, 14. Yeah. He says, even if you slay me, yeah. I will wait until my change comes. Exactly. I really love that one. Amen. So, a man of God, maybe you are going through a lot of <laughs> challenges and you are feeling like throwing in the towel. Please, hold on to the Lord. There is that test of waiting mm. for the rewards. Right. And there is that delay. But the mm. truth of the matter, God is not a man that he should lie. That's he true. is going to uh, to pay, he's going to reward you. Mm. He's a rewarder of those who diligently seek mm. him. And all you need to do, just be patient, keep on holding on, continue mm. serving, mm -hmm. because he says a laborer is worth his wage. Mm -hmm. One time, uh, that year I was so frustrated while I was in Tanzania, mm. and I was going through a lot of financial challenges. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I went in prayer and I told God, God, if I was employed by a pagan, mm. I would know every 30th or 31st, yeah. my salary is coming. Oh, is coming. So I asked God, <laughs> where do you pay? <laughs> when did you pay? Where do you pay? But it's like God had me. Yes. Because he spoke to someone uh, from Wisconsin, USA. Mm. I, I don't know that person up to today. Yeah, up to today. And he's, that lady sent $500 and said that, I know you don't know me, mm. but I was talking to somebody who had come to Kenya and you interpreted, and as that person was talking about you, God told me mm. that you are in dire need of finances. Mm. And she sent the money through Western Union. Yes. You know, and I'm wondering, uh, if men of God would really know that they were employed by God yes. and not members, and not members. you would not wrestle with members, you, you would wrestle with God. with God. Because he's the one who called you, and therefore you are paid. Mm. It's supposed to come from him. Very strong point. Yes. And I, think, I believe that's how we should function. Mm. Even though in the natural it looks impossible. It, yes, sir. Sometimes when you are going through challenges, mm. you forget mm. that you are called of God. <laughs> <laughs> Let's read another scripture, Colossians 1.24. Amen. It says this, who now, rejoice, who now rejoice in my sufferings for you? In other words, men and women of God suffer for you. Mm. So here... The Colossians were suffering, were rejoicing in the suffering, who now rejoice in my suffering for you, and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of mm. Christ in my flesh, mm. for he, his body's sake, which is the church. In other mm. words, he's suffering mm -hmm. because of the body, the church. Mm. So it's just adding on what Jesus went through. Mm -hmm. That's the work of a minister. How can you interpret that? Mm, yeah, the truth of the matter mm. is. Uh, the suffering that uh, uh, they are talking about here is not the kind of suffering that you bring it on yourself no. because you are committing sin, mm. you are doing some wicked things and mm. then you say you are suffering no. because uh, I, I, as you are speaking, I was reminded of a certain bishop that uh, preferred to do uh, follow-up follow -up. at night. And would go visiting single mothers and mm. widows. And he's saying that he's going to encourage them. And mm. visiting wives whose husbands are working mm. 
mm. elsewhere. Elsewhere. And he's doing follow-up at That's night. Okay. And one time, this bishop, uh, he went to a lady whose husband was a driver. Mm. But uh, somebody had already hinted to the husband that the, the church where your wife goes, mm. the bishop does follow-ups at night. At night. And he became suspicious. Mm -hmm. So he came and he found the bishop in the house. He wasn't doing anything wrong, mm -hmm. but he didn't mind. He mm -hmm. took an axe and he chased the bishop at night. Tonight. He wanted to kill him. Mm -hmm. Now, this kind of suffering, they are <laughs> suffering <laughs> that <laughs> you, you self-invited. Yeah, self-invited. <laughs> you know, so the suffering <laughs> that uh, this Bible is talking yeah. about <laughs> is not those nonsensical self-invited yeah, 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 because yeah, of lack of character and mm. good training. You know. <laughs> no, no, no. Mm. It is suffering that brings glory to, to God, God. That you can hold on is such that people know that this truly mm. is a man of, a God. man of God. You are focused. Mm. You are moving on well in spite of the many challenges. Yes. Yeah. So this was uh, Paul's sacrificial mm -hmm. ministry mm. to the Gentiles. Exactly. He really sacrificed him and he suffered through mm. for the sake of others. Amen. So they understood very well. This man is suffering for us mm. because of the gospel. Mm -hmm. So if we are suffering because of the gospel, because of others, yes. that's a good suffering. That's okay. But that's not okay. doing funny things mm. and trying to, to cover up mm. and to say you are a man of God no. or we are the church of Christ. Mm -hmm. And yet we are not following the model of, mm. of Christ, Christ. Yes. especially yes. the Thessalonians. Yes. We have agreed this was a saved church. Mm -hmm. We have agreed this was a surrendered church. Mm -hmm. We have agreed also now it was a suffering church. Mm. Next program mm. will continue mm -hmm. the fourth thing this mm. church was mm. in that area amen we are learning and i believe we are getting something to help us mm. to understand it's not just being saved yes and waiting for jesus to come to go to heaven mm -hmm. not just joining a church yes. and sitting there to wait for things to happen mm -hmm. we have to make things happen mm. believers ministers of the gospel we have been called to be saved mm. suffer and surrender and do the necessary, prove our faith, that it's not a fake faith, it's a genuine faith. Mm -hmm. The faith of the cross mm -hmm. is operational Amen. wherever we should be. Amen. We should demonstrate not only preaching the word, mm -hmm. but the power of God. Amen. We have been given that permission, mm -hmm. that after we preach the word, mm -hmm. let us wait for the confirmation. True. Because you said, go and preach the word, mm -hmm. but I will confirm it with signs and wonders. Amen. That is our mm -hmm. work. Mm. to preach mm. and to demonstrate. Amen. But as we finish this program, yes. there are people who fear demonstrating the power of God. Yes. And yet it is in the Bible. Siku hizi ya, unajua cha, hile, wata tubiri nena tu, mambo mingine mungu watafanya. That's not in the Bible. Yes, sir. It's not in the Bible. It's true. God is using us his vessels, mm. instruments. Mm. God is using us as his mouthpiece. Mikono mm. yetu, Osborn said, yes. God has no hands. Mm. We are the hands of God. Yes, sir. God has no mouth. Mm. We are the mouthpiece of God. Mm. God has no feet. Mm. We are the feet of God. That's why we should carry the gospel wherever we go. Mm. It's like carrying God. Mm. I'm not saying God is disabled. Mm -hmm. I'm saying God is a spirit. Yes, yes, yes. So if God is a spirit, mm. he comes within us mm. to use our hands, mm. to use our eyes, to use our feet, mm. so that he may fulfill mm. his will and purpose here on earth. Mm. So be willing to be used the right way. Mm. And the right thing is this. Mm. Read your Bible with an open mind. Mm. And yes. do that which is right. Correct. God will back you up. Amen. When you say the last word, then you pray. Yes. Yes. Then next week, God willing, will continue. Mm. Yeah, I, I would personally really desire that God helps us so that, as you have said, mm. many of us were afraid to demonstrate the power of God. Right. And I think that that is a two-way problem mm. because we have members who expect nothing from us. Yeah. Their perception of us <laughs> as men of God yes. is upside down. Yeah, yeah. They do not perceive <laughs> us as vessels that God can use. Exactly. So, and even ourselves, we also are afraid mm. to attempt. To attempt, yeah. uh, uh, I, uh, There is a man of God in Tanzania, very well known also here in Kenya, called Apostle Dunstan, Dunstan Maboya. Yeah. And this man of God, when he was training his sons, mm. I have been close to him and to mm. most of his sons, mm. and he would uh, like bring a cripple. Yes. You was, uh, and then say, you are my son. Mm. Don't leave this church until this cripple walks. Yes. 
you pray until <laughs> God hears you. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and you know, uh, they, they, they would really do, one of, the, uh, one of those sons is called Apostle Mamposa, yes. a good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And you know, they would spend the night and the evening and the blind would see, the cripples would walk. Mm -hmm. So I think we also need a kind of coaching, probably from you veterans who have manifested every, yeah. every dimension of miracles. <laughs> <laughs> you, you like organize a, a refresher course. Yeah, yeah we refresh. <laughs> so, so that we can begin to demonstrate mm -hmm. because some, some, some men of God are just afraid mm -hmm. that whatever I lay hands, mm -hmm. nothing is going to happen. Mm -hmm. You or know. I lay hands and after prayer she goes and dies. Exactly, exactly. So uh, I think there is a, a need. Uh, we have people who are bold enough to begin to train the yeah. supernatural yeah, dimension of ministry. Exactly. That is what is lacking. Mm -hmm. But I also challenge the members to become good followers. Yeah, good followers. Good leaders yeah. need good followers. I agree with you. It's yes, very true. Yes, sir. I agree with you. Amen. That's a, that's a point Amen. I want people to Take. Amen. That good leaders need good followers. Amen. Otherwise, a leader is not a leader without good followers. Yes. Sir. You can have a very good leader, mm. but also have very poor mm. followers. Yes, true. So let's just change our attitude. Mm. Let's change our mindset mm -hmm. and become what God wants us to become. And do exactly what the Bible says. Jesus yeah. never died in vain. Amen. So until next week, God willing, the same time, mm -hmm. we'd like to continue to talk about this church, Amen. which... It's a church with a difference, and also it can give us direction of how we can be able to adjust mm -hmm. our, 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 our fellowships and our ministries to be able to do the way they did it. Amen. I think there is nothing new we are mm -hmm. going to do yeah, other than what true. they did. It's true. Because there is no new salvation. Mm -hmm. There is no new suffering. Correct. It's the same. It's the same. Surrendering is the same. Mm -hmm. And what we are going to talk to you as we continue mm -hmm. is the same. Mm -hmm. There's nothing new Amen. which we are going to do and say mm -hmm. which has not been done and mm -hmm. said. True. Having done so, mm -hmm. having said so, mm -hmm. can you bless the congregation? Sir? Amen. Let's pray. Father, we thank you because of your word today. We pray that, Lord, you're going to release yes, the grace of genuine salvation in our nation. Yes. Father, we call back men of God and members back to Christ. Mm. We pray that the blood of Jesus will release the fear of God yes, that will Lord. govern our integrity and character before you. Yes. We pray that, Lord, you're going to raise a surrendered members, yes. surrendered ministers mm. who can present their bodies as living sacrifices right. to you. Hallelujah. We pray that the power of the Holy Spirit Mm. would come back to church yes. so that the word will not go as the word only mm. but it shall be accompanied with your power mm. father we pray for grace to bear challenges yes. sufferings afflictions mm. without compromising our integrity and our faith mm. we bless your church today yes. in jesus mighty name we pray amen amen until next week to shauriane thank you sir. amen